can't see a fucking thing! My rear view mirrors are absolutely useless in this situation. absolutely come to a dead stop here and to my knowledge I don't come on this freeway very often but to my knowledge is actually like this almost every day like literally they come to a complete stop they'll sit there for a little while then they'll roll like this for a little bit see how they're rolling like maybe 10 miles an hour and then they stop again stop 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 some of them are rolling 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 a little bit rolling 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 a little bit stopped stopped oh my god can you imagine sitting in this every day for like an hour hour and a half two hours just to get to work and then you have to do it again to get home Ugh. i mean i i feel like i'd have a, an extremely difficult time emotionally living in los angeles without a motorcycle but if i lived in or worked in Santa Monica or downtown Los Angeles, I absolutely could not survive without a bike. This is just absolutely stupid. Like, you're throwing hours of your life away. You know, it's got to add up to years. If you do this for long enough, if you just put up with this. Because if you think about it, you sit in traffic for... Let's just do some quick math here. Let's say you sit in traffic. Let's be generous. Let's be generous and say you only spend two hours a day in this traffic there and back two hours that's 10 hours a week that's a little over 40 hours a month and hold on let me do some more math that's 480 hours a year you sit in this shit can you imagine like what what could you do in your life with an additional 480 hours now if you're on a bike you're sure you're not going as fast as you could be when there's traffic like this, but you can split lanes. You can go a lot faster. You can cut your time probably in half or better. So, you know, that's like 240 hours you get back per year. And that's just driving to work and back. This isn't including all of the lane splitting you can do elsewhere. Uh, you know, just going to the store, going to visit your friends, going on vacations like I'm doing right now. I'm just going camping, but you know, I just threw my gear on the back of my bike. And uh, this traffic has become, well, it's not meaningless. I'm limited to like 20 to 40 miles an hour when I'm in this kind of thick, thick, heavy rush hour traffic. But, you know, it's, it's ultimately going to save me two or three hours getting to where I'm going. So, I mean, it real like, it, it doesn't just confuse me. It actually angers me that every single municipality in the United States of America, except for California, bans lane splitting. It's so incredibly stupid. And there are, you know, a lot of countries allow it, but you, the United States, for some reason, just has this backwards-ass notion that lane splitting is too dangerous, like that people can't handle their shit. Well, you know, that if... If you're going to ban lane splitting because it's so dangerous, then you probably ought to just ban cars because... Uh, I forget the number off the top of my head, but it's like an average of 30... Like 30,000 people a year die in car accidents in the United States. 30,000, 30, 35,000, 30... It's like it's between 30 and 40,000 a year. That's a lot of people. That's like 100 people every day die in car crashes in this country. That's fucking astounding. And sure, I mean, lane splitting's not the safest thing in the world, but it's easy to do safely if you want to. 
it's easy to do it dangerously if you want to as well and that's why it's illegal because some people do it dangerously but i go i come back to my earlier argument some people can't handle their shit driving a car either success i was afraid i'd have a lot of difficulty starting and stopping my camera but so far so good undo it can't unrecord so I've had to drive for an hour and ten minutes just to get to the coast but now that I'm here I feel like my journey is finally beginning got some beautiful views the weather is gorgeous right now I must say I'm very pleasantly surprised by the sudden turn the weather took because when I woke up this morning it was cloudy and it was really cold and I looked up the weather uh, in San Simeon where I'm going to be camping and uh, the reports all say it's going to be in like the uh, 50s. The highs and lows will be in the 50s. So that had me a little bit disappointed and worried but uh, you know the clouds all cleared, the sun is out, blue skies, it's a, it's a lovely day to be driving the coast and I'm really looking forward to uh, smooth sailing from here on out. As far as I know, there's no highway closures or anything, so... Oh god, if there's anything like that, I'm gonna be super duper... unfortunate and sad. I think I'm gonna be stuck here for a while. I still don't understand why people do this. There's like room for a whole extra car here, almost both sides of me nobody comes like they don't pull up to the limit line which is nice if you're on a motorcycle because it gives you plenty of room to feel safe at, at you know at the line taking off you don't have cars crowding you in if you filter to the front but it still strikes me as weird like these people don't know where the front of their car is which is unsettling they are among us 